How's it going guys? Brand214 here with the Planetary Gamers and today we are going to be taking a look at the PC Building Simulator. Uh, this is a relatively new game on the Steam Workshop or Steam Store I should say and uh, and it looked pretty fun so I wanted to see about giving it a try. So uh, let's get started. So we're going to start a new game here. Uh, I don't have an auto uh, auto save file so yeah let's override it. Oh, all right. Uh, oh, that's pretty cool. Got the little fan spin in there. Okay, welcome to PC Building Simulator. To begin, go to your PC by the doorway and open the email program on the desktop. You've got mail. <laughs> little throwback there to uh, AOL. Oh, hey, check that out. It actually uses the... Uh, same desktop background that I have on my my computer at home. So let's see. Uh, said we've got an email, so let's go check that out. Have to, oh, I have to double click. <laughs> okay. Uh, it says, "Hey, thanks for taking over the PC shop for me. Sorry, it's not in a better state. A few things. The company isn't doing very well, and there's no money in the bank account. Oh, <laughs> boy, doesn't that sound familiar?" Uh, the rent and energy bills come out monthly, so make sure you have enough money for them. I had a job on the go which should help with the rent. See the email below. Remember to use your thermal paste when putting in a CPU. I almost always forget, and the PCs overheat. Alright, so we'll definitely make sure to include thermal paste in, uh, in our builds. So, let's uh, start here. Oh, hi Tim. I hope you can help me. My computer has been running slower than usual and I think I might have clicked on something I shouldn't have. Do I have a virus? Thanks, Gary. Alright Gary, well looks like Gary wants to give us about a hundred bucks for our labor uh, and he wants us to remove some viruses so let's do it. Oh sweet, okay so it looks like his uh, looks like Gary's computer is already picked up so let's go ahead and or show, showed up I should say and we're gonna go ahead and pick this up here and put it on our workbench. Alright, it says PC can boot to the operating system and we need to remove some viruses. So let's go ahead and plug in some of these cables here. Uh, let's do... I don't want to press the power button. I start... Uh, how do I grab cables? Uh, oh! Oh, okay. Plug the PC in. For this job you need a... you need to run a virus scan. Press 3 or the cable button and plug the monitor, keyboard, mouse, and power into the back of the PC. Got it. No problem. So we'll just rotate our PC here so we can see the ports on the back. And we'll grab this USB port and put it in here. And this HDMI cable, I think that's an HDMI cable. Or maybe it's just another USB. And put it in here. Ah, this is our HDMI cable and we'll put it in on the graphics card and our power cable goes down here right at the bottom. Okay, insert the USB drive. Now you need to put your USB drive into the back of the PC so you can install the virus scanner. Press 1 or install button to go into your inventory and select the USB drive. It plugs into the USB slot on the back of the PC. Okay. Uh, Alright, so we said we have to open our inventory here and uh -huh, there's our USB drive and we'll plug that into the USB port there on the top. Power on the PC. Now press P or the power button to turn the PC on. Click on the monitor to use the operating system OS of the machine. Okay. So we'll go ahead and hit the power button here. Fire it up. Got our fan spinning in there. And a fan directly mounted onto the graphics card. And it looks like our PC has booted up. So let's go ahead and check out that. Um, how do I get out of... This video. Ah, okay. Install the virus scanner. Welcome to Omega Operating System, the operating system of choice. Sweet. Uh, click on Add Remove Programs to install the virus scanner, and don't forget to restart the PC after it has been in or after it is installed. Okay, sounds good. So let's go to Add Remove Programs here. Let's grab our virus scanner, and it'll just take a second for it to load up here. Any day. There we go. You must restart your computer for your changes to take effect. Restart now? Absolutely. Right. 
sounds like it's shutting down there, and then uh, we'll see if it comes back up. We're already $15 in the hole. Ooh. Rough, uh, rough start, but we'll definitely make it. All right, looks like we got our virus scanner here. Let's go ahead and start scanning and see if there's anything on this machine. Oh no, files found. I had 335 infected files. Let's go ahead and clean those. Outstanding, all done. You have removed all the viruses and the PC is ready to be returned to the client. Pick the PC up with the right mouse button and place it in the corridor. Okay, and the PC is protected. So, Gary, rest assured that uh, your PC was in good hands with me and uh, now your PC can run more efficiently. So let's go ahead and power it down and I believe we have to detach all the cables. Place in corridor. Can I just pick it up then? Ah, okay, cool. So I just <laughs> ripped out all the cables, no problem. So we'll just go ahead and place this here in the corridor. Collect your reward. Great, now you just need to collect your pay. Go to your email and hit collect. Boy, if only it was that easy, huh? So let's go in here, and we removed all the viruses, and we'll collect our $100. And there we go. This should be our receipt here. So labor was $100. We got a total of $100. No use, or no used parts, no new parts. And uh, we'll hit OK. So the job is complete. You've completed your first job. Well done. Thank you. Uh, come back tomorrow to see if there are some more jobs to do. All right, we'll definitely be sure to come back tomorrow and double check. Uh, for more jobs to keep our uh, very low budget <laughs> PC operation, building operation uh, afloat. So let's go ahead and back out of here. And I guess we just go home for the day. Ending the day. Here you can end your day and advance to tomorrow. Right now you have no active jobs, but normally it's worth checking. You've it's worth checking you've ordered any parts you need for tomorrow before going home. Okay. Uh, ah, we see we have our utility bill here, and then we have our rent of $500 down here on the 25th, and today's the first of the month of January. Uh, a year ago. <laughs> so, alright, let's go ahead and go back to the office, make sure that we don't have any jobs going on for tomorrow. Okay, the virus scan is good. Okay. And this was from our Uncle Tim. Oh, I, mu I didn't scroll down. Oh, I have to read the rest of this. So I think you're all set up at your company now, so run it how you see fit. I hope you do better than I did. Lots of love, Uncle Tim. P.S. I had to borrow $15 for fuel. You know how it is. Ah, okay. So that explains where our $15 in the hole came from. So let's go ahead and discard both of those emails, and I believe we are done for the day. So let's head home. Alright, and just like that, it looks like it's Tuesday, January 2nd, 2018. So let's go to work and see if we have any more emails. So we'll go ahead and here. Check our emails. Whoa, we got a bunch of jobs in here today. So let's see, we need uh, more space on the computer, uh, a help, broken graphics card, and a virus scan. So it says, hello, I need some more space to back up my files. Could you install a 500 gigabyte hard drive for me? I'll bring it around first thing. Thank you, Gemma. Okay, the labor's gonna be $280 and the budget's gonna be 50 bucks. So uh, the objectives, install more Tony, easy store, 500 gigabytes or better. All right, we'll go ahead and accept that job. Uh, customers' PCs will take a day to arrive, so in the current day by going to the workshop door. Okay. Go to the shop on your PC to buy the components you need, and you can have them delivered at the same time as the client's PC. Alright, sounds good. Uh, let's see what else we've got in here. Hello, could you have a look at my PC please? It isn't running as well as it did when I first bought it, and I've probably not been taking the best care of it. It looks a bit dirty. Could you give it a once over please? If you can bring it around tonight. If you can, if you can, I'll bring it around tonight, ready for you in the morning. Thanks, P. Sherman. Is that the... Anyway. Uh, Alright, so we got a labor for $100. They want us to remove some viruses and clean out some dust. Uh, and the PC status is ready to boot. So we'll accept that job as well. And it looks like it's in transit. Okay, Queen Brittany at realinternet.co.uk says she has a broken graphics card. Hello. 
My graphics card has fried itself and I need it to be replaced with the same one, please. An NVIDIA GTX 970. Maybe one of those sheen ones. I can drop it around first thing tomorrow morning. Replace the graphics card and install Sheen GeForce GTX 970 Gamer or better. The budget is $265 and the labor is going to be $260. That'll be a good good uh, bankroll there for us. Get our guapo up. Alright, so we got... Hi there. Uh, this is for a virus scan. I just wanted to say thank you for pics... Oh, this is uh, Gary. The guy we already did the PC build for, or the virus scan for. I just wanted to say thank you for fixing my PC. It's booting faster than it has in years. I didn't realize your uncle had gone away. Looks like the business is in good hands, though. Thanks again, Gary. Alright, well, glad to hear that Gary's really happy with our business. Um, let's see, we also need to start ordering some of these supplies for tomorrow. So we've got the Mortoni Easy Store 500 gigabyte. And this one, I think we've already got the supplies for because it's removing viruses and cleaning out dust, and I'm pretty sure I have uh, dust, um, like a, a can of compressed air already in my inventory, but I'll double check on that. Um, and then a broken graphics card, so we'll have to replace it with a new graphics card. So let's go online, but first let me double check my inventory. And yeah, okay, so I was right, so we have thermal paste, compressed air, and a USB drive. Uh, with our antivirus on it. So let's go ahead and go in here to the shop. We got CPUs, processors, memory, motherboards, a whole bunch of cool stuff. So let's do graphics cards. We'll start with that one. Um, so what does she want again? She wanted a Sheen GeForce GTX 970. Okay. Let's go into the shop. Let's see. Oh, that, that's uh, power supplies. What I need is graphics cards. And we need... Sheen GeForce, and she wanted a 970. So let's go ahead and add that to our cart. Sounds good. And we also need... Uh, let's double check. Mortoni Easy Store. Okay, so we need a hard drive. So we'll go into the shop. Go under hard drives. Uh, am I missing it? Ah, storage. Here we go. Mortoni Easy Store, and they want 500 gigs or better. So we'll just go down here. Ah, there we go. Add to cart. And looks like we're ready to check out, so uh, time for your delivery. Use the delivery options to choose when best to receive your components. Often it's better to pay for faster delivery than wait days to receive things. Very true, because the customers are coming tomorrow with their PCs, and we should try to get their PCs done uh, the same day that they deliver them to us. So let's see, how do I set up the shipping for these. Ah, okay, so next day delivery, same day delivery is $100, and three to five working days is $10, so it's better to just pay the 30 bucks and have... Ah, but it looks like our balance is gonna be negative, but after we get these jobs done, we should be positive again, so it looks like there's some kind of debt system <laughs> that you utilize in the game. Uh, so we're negative $260, but tomorrow Ah, okay, valued customer. Here at Megacorp, we know that life doesn't always run smoothly, so we provide a free overdraft for all of our customers. Your free overdraft limit is $1,000. Awesome. Okay, so we're in the whole 260 bucks. But uh, we got those objects, or excuse me, the uh, components coming tomorrow along with our customers' computers. So I think that'll about wrap us up for this episode. Um, thank you guys again for watching so much. If you're enjoying this, if you enjoyed this series or enjoy this game be sure to leave a comment let me know uh, if you've played through it or if you really like this game um, or really anything else uh, about our gameplay or any other videos that you might have watched that um, or really anything that you think that we could work on uh, so that being said be sure to leave a like comment subscribe share the video with your friends and uh, until next time we'll see you later